So Grifflands now has mods and that has me really excited because I do a lot of videos on mods for Slay the Spire which is a very similar game, has an amazing modding community and looking at the early mods of this because mod support like just came out I believe a month or two ago. So like the mods are early um, which is why I'm making a first impressions video instead of making like a full blown mod review because all of these mods are still in early access. So this is actually going to be my first ever impressions of mods in general. Um, and it is Rise of Cassio, which from what I understand, we get to play as Cassio, which was the main boss enemy in Sal's story. Oh, I have to restart the game. Okay. Okay, it was just a soft reset. Cool. So manage mods. It is enabled. And what do I do? I hit play Grifflands. Oh, that's so cool. Cassio the Kingpin. A loyal working class citizen just trying to scrape by. That's not what she was in Faisal's story. She was a, like, basically a slave trader, as I can understand it. Rise of Cassio. Cassio prequel story. Escape the bog. Interesting. There's two stories for her. Okay, let's do the Cassio prequel, I guess. She has 50 health, 35 resolve. Um, I'm assuming there's no outfits because this mod is in early access. The battle deck. Ah, uh, I'll deal with that as I get into battle. And the negotiation deck. Oh, we got a press below. Oh, it looks just, just like normal cards. Just normal base game cards. Um, and I guess we hit start. I want to see what this story is like. This guy is filled with foul black smoke from the machinery being operated. You daydream. As you look up and take a small glimpse of the moon being covered in the smoke, you wonder how amazing the sky would look if this land wasn't filled with such crude machinery. Where are we? Can I look at the map? Hey, Cassio, are you daydreaming again? Hey, it's Calandra from um, Rook Story. I'm done mining this lumen ore and it's turned to smelt the bars. Okay, Calandra, sorry, I'll get right to it and lost myself. Or you thinking about quitting this job again? You do know we are very fortunate to even have a job in the Grout Bog, let alone a very important one. Most of the work here is either industrial or criminal. Don't want to mess with those pre bandits. They've been strung up and they've been stirring up a lot of trouble lately. And we've done a pretty good job so far in mining, smelting this luminor, and smart barons can make powerful equipment. Speaking of a good job, I was hoping for promotion soon. Okay. Yeah, I suppose what kind of life is waking up every day in black smoke? <laughs> this guy, noisy machinery. But a promotion, hmm, that would be nice could use some of those new cybernetics those rich grifters implanted into their heads hey look at that i have some slots for those very fancy kind of stuff meh not really looking for cybernetics way too advanced technology for our time looks like it's just kind of exponential dialogue i mean a new bar in town Clandra, you do know we're both short on funds Got this grand idea of negotiate for a better salary kind of idea. Oh, we're gonna... So I'm gonna negotiate with her? And besides, you already forget we're working here for three years already. We set our own time for breaks. Just imagine us at the bar getting smashed out of our minds and witnessing the insane bar fight. Or we can have a little brawl of our own. Hmm. So I can either battle or negotiate? That's... <laughs> She'll dislike me if I battle her? Why? She's the one offering. No escape. You cannot run... From this one. okay sure who's boss around here let's negotiate okay so i just have sal savvy interesting i wonder if they plan on keeping that or this is just like the early access version of it so our deck is just basic stuff deal one bonus damage for every other hostility card in your hand awesome got a lot of those so i can't really get dominance four hostility cards in a single turn i can do that I can definitely do that. Boom. Cool, cool. So my deck is all hostility, huh? Yeah, that does make sense. Cassio's whole character. Looks like we can just straight up kill. Cassio, you're way better than I expected. You really showed me that I don't deserve that promotion. As she's smiling. It's time to practice two times a day instead of one. Till next time, you wonder. Well, you can't negotiate against me when I'm sitting here, like, threatening your life and stuff. Workers and spark barons gather alike. Workers near Cassio. Bums to Kalinda. Oof. I remember this guy, I think. 
Hey buddy, watch it. Calandra, knock it off. Are you all alright? What's happening up there? I'm so sorry, ma'am. Just working on crafting some lumen infused weapons for the Admiralty. Rich, fortunate people, anyway. Talking to Spark Baron Task Leader. Said we wouldn't be handing over these to the Admiralty, and their order would not be delivered. So now some wild machine is beeping and booping and screeching and making a ton of noise and hurting the eardrums. This thing is right outside our gate, doesn't look friendly. Thank you for informing us. Well, he sure was rude, just relax. At least the So Calandra's like my friend. Uh, you're right. I'm right with you, Cassio. It happens every single step of the way. Likewise, back to the main gate. And leave? Okay, so here I'm in the girl bog. It's interesting how there's two stories. Just another day. So I'm right here. Then I go to the main gate. Oh, got an event. Make it around to the gate. Whole army of admiralty. Silence fills the air. An admiralty officer steps out behind the gate. So, Ulu, I remember Ulu. Trustworthy representative of the admiralty. I've come to collect a debt. Okay, so they were supposed to get a delivery from the Spark Barons, but I guess the Spark Barons cancelled on them last second. And now they're pretty mad. 60 tons of lumen ore to our convoy, or there will be consequences. Don't even mind that much ore in a year. Just wondering what's up with that kind of demand for lumen. Well, we're about to find out. Sorry, I'm not sure if I recall owning some fancy, fancy admiralty any lumens. This guy's Spark Baron. I don't know where he came from, but... We own this mine and 100% of the resources that we produce. Is the Admiralty attacking us? We have provided you with the tools needed to extract the ore and agreement. Not gonna give a single drop of loom into your Admiralty scumbags. No right to make a decision here. I have a whole army outside of this gate waiting to take all of your men on my mark. Oh my god. If you comply with the man, take it by force. You have any more shrug shoulders. It beats me. You're yelling and running. Uh-oh. A huge group of Spark Baron soldiers charge from behind the Admiralty. Man. Soldiers break and rush through the gate trying to create a choke point. Spark Barons and Admiralty crash within one another. Some unlucky workers also getting caught between the crossfire. The work site is in complete chaos. Oh, uh, we sneak out from the so back. Arg, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill all the Spark Barons. The enraged Admiralty goon swings his weapon at you. Calandra pushes you out of the way just in time. Both of you get injured. You can't leave. You can't escape. The only other way is death. Calandra, I don't think they're gonna let us through. We can try another path or run through the hell quarters. Calandra? Calandra rushes towards the Admiralty goon. Yeah. I don't care if this guy dislikes me. This guy's kind of a... Kind of a piece of shit, isn't he? Thinking about running for leadership, it's unfortunate he doesn't want to live in a democracy. Are we just gonna kill him? Follow Kalandra's assault and go. Cool. So this is the story. That's why I said prequel. This is when Cassio used to be a Spark Baron, and I'm gonna assume that the other story is going to take place in a uh, Murder Bay, where Sal is hunting her. Maybe. I don't think I'm gonna go through both of those. But look, we got um, yeah, we got custom cards here. That's pretty awesome. Gain Cassio's flail. Defense equal to five percent of your current health, and defense. Heal yourself for 10% of your missing health every turn? 25% chance to apply random. Huh, that sounds complicated as hell. Apply wounds and then wound yourself. Okay, well, I'm not being attacked. I'm not being attacked at all. So, let me apply wound to this guy. Flail or force glaive into your hand. Okay, so the Force Glaive... Oh, so these are like different weapons I can equip. Deal extra damage with your attacks and an extra action per turn at the cost of taking more... Wow! I will take the Glaive. Half defense, but more damage. Cool. So now I am being hit. Evasion, dodge next hit. Yeah. Uh, it also applies impaired to me though, so let me do that at the end of the turn. Wonder what this pool of special cards are. Oh, I can apply burn. Start it of your turn, take damage, equal to the stack of the burn in half. Yeah, okay, same thing as rook. Smoke screen. 
Weird colored flask? Buy me a drink, or hand me a drink. Ah, uh, random buffer debuff. Why would I do that? Yeah, I'll take smoke screen. Okay, so I'm gonna apply burn. And let me get my evasion. What is this? Gain kingpin status? Which can unlock the full potential? Question mark? How, where did this come from? Six actions making the same weapon consecutively. Okay. Kingpin can unlock the potential of certain cards. Every action a fighter makes generate. Kingpin. Swapping weapons removes kingpin. Every 10 stacks of kingpin triggers. This is very confusing. Um, but I'll play it, I guess. So once I get 10 stacks of kingpin, I'll do a special ability. I have a lot of impaired, but I have two evasions, so I'm not going to complain. I honestly feel like just killing these guys, because I feel like that's what Cashio would do. Swap weapons. Flail or Force Glaive? Let me get the flail in. It's taking the extra damage and not getting as much block is definitely going to hurt. It's 10. I guess I'll get in the four defense then. That guy gave up. Applying this in pair was maybe a bad idea. Two evasion, improvise a spool. Yeah, let me get this. Two temporary power and two, ooh. Yeah, I'll take the temp power. Yeah, I'm gonna do the flail smash. This seems like a good card to get upgraded. And now we got the kingpin again. Okay, so we lose, yeah, so we swapping weapons removes kingpin. So I guess this just, rewards you for sticking with the same weapon throughout the fight and not just constantly swapping. No damage. Apply three burn. Uh, I don't want to apply more impairs to myself. So I'll just do that. But why do I have 10 stacks of Kingpin now? Triggers a special ability. I don't know what that special ability was. Six actions using the same weapon consecutively. Every action a fighter makes generates Kingpin. Now I have 12. I guess this guy's gonna die because Kalendra has no chill and just gonna kill him. <laughs> I guess that's how we're doing it. Another flail smash, and he is going to surrender. Boom. The animations are nice. Obviously, I know it's like a uh, base game animation, but it's really cool how like they're turning a character that's normally a bad guy into a playable character, right? I'm just gonna kill him. Who cares about the Admirality? Yeah, I don't care about you. Allies at 10% max health. Also, while I'm here, let me... Sound effects. Need to go down, they're very loud. Anyone else hate me? Nope. Okay, so pick a battle card. If the flail is active, have a chance to stun the target. Have a chance to stun the target? Are you gonna tell me the chance? No? Okay. Deal damage, then switch to the Force Glaive. If it's already equipped, draw a card. Kingpin 10, apply a special, apply random debuffs, random stacks of the debuffs, and a random amount of debuff to enemies. So if I have 10 Kingpin, apply random debuffs, Random stacks of the debuff and a random amount of debuffs to enemies. Am I having a brain fart or is that just like not proper English? I'll take it and find out. 
I got these cards. Yes, these are good. And restore resolve. Not that I need it. Make it around the gate. There's a whole army of admirality. I'll kill them all. Silence fills the air. Admirality officer steps out from behind the gate. Greetings from Admirality Headquarters. I, Ulu, trustworthy representative of the Admirality, have come to collect a debt from the spark barons of this filthy land. We request that this factory will transfer 60 tons of lumen ore to our convoy, or there will be consequences. Ulu is kind of a piece of shit. Sweet Jesus. Jesus doesn't exist in this world. My immersion is ruined. We don't even mind that much or I I already read all of this. Yeah, I already read all of this. What's going on? I literally went through this. Am I just like gonna be killing Admirality infinitely or something? Is that what this is? Uh, I guess I'll just constantly apply a burn. Should have probably equipped a weapon first. Definitely. But I won't. Invincible and defect. 50% of all damage is turned. And gain counter equal to that damage. Next attack on... Huh? So I'm taking 6 damage now. Okay, now I'm taking 13. But I'll gain counter equal to what I'm taking? Okay. But it only lasts for one turn, huh? That sucks. Do I need to draw? Let me get the Force Glaive out. Let me remember. Deal extra damage with your attacks and then extra action per turn. Okay, that's really strong, yeah. But I take extra damage. And it has my defense. I wish it like told me how much extra damage I'm going to be taking. And how much more damage I'm dealing. But it doesn't. Now I'll get this Kingpin going. So now that I understand this better. Maybe this will go by faster. I'll apply Wound to you. In my draw pile I'm getting all of my evasion. Or one evasion thing next turn. So even if they're going to hit me. For like a million damage. I'll at least be able to evade it. Yeah, they are hitting me for a million damage. But, I can make you run away. And then I can... Let me play this. Okay, cool. Now I have 10 Kingpin. Apply random debuffs. Let's see how this works. Okay, it applied exposed. I'm not sure what the rest of the wording on this means. Apply random debuffs. Random stacks of the debuff and a random amount of debuffs on it. I don't understand. It did something though. It applied a random debuff. That's all I need to know. And now I will gain the evasion. So this guy will, yeah, give up and I'll evade that. Cool. Very cool. I don't need to swap weapons. Let's improvise the special cards. Yes, I'll gain the temporary power. Nice. Getting the hang of this now. I like this battle deck. Looks like a lot of work. A lot of thought was put into this battle deck. It's really cool, the idea of like switching stances and stuff. And I'll kill these guys too, because I hate the Admirality. Oh no, this guy hates me. Continue. Pick a battle card. Consume pain. Half and half. Burn or bleed? Ooh. Blast an enemy for every two cards in your discard pile. Ooh. I like that. It's not that good right now. Consume all debuffs, dealing one damage to self for each debuff, then gaining power equal to consume debuffs. Ooh. That's cool. Equal. Deals damage and applies burn or bleed equal to the amount of damage. Okay. Is that like chosen by random? 50-50? Even so, that's still pretty good. I'm gonna take that. Let's upgrade these. <laughs> Wait, what? It goes from deal damage and apply burn to shuffle a random weapon card into your deck? But why? 
Why, why would it turn into that? Why would I pick that? This one's so much better. Gain a three counter. But I want to apply burn. These upgrades are weird. Counter, I won't complain about counter. So I'll take these unmoralities. Starting to get our reputation for violence. Good. I am Cassio after all. Oh my god, is it going to be the same thing over and over again? It's literally... Okay, I'll kill these guys too and see... <laughs> see where this goes, but I, I feel like... I don't know if I'm misunderstanding this, or if it's just like an infinite loop of the same thing over and over again. It's very odd. Oh, uh, so I'll gain counter. Let me see if I can equip a weapon first. Let me draw cards. Okay, Clashio's flail. Let's get the flail. Equal to 5% of your current health. Defense and heal self for 10% of your missing health every turn. That's pretty sick. That's like really good. The glaive's also really good. So who is hitting me? You are. Oh, you have a vendetta against me, that's why. Okay, who needs to defend? I don't. I'm not being hit this time, so I'll apply Wound, and get that Kingpin out, I'm gonna draw some cards, and I don't have 10 Kingpin, Let's draw some more cards, I'm gonna apply Burn, I guess I'm not gonna be able to do that though, I guess I'll just get my basic cards upgraded, I don't know how long this story is gonna last, I don't know if it's like the 5 days that's normal, because this isn't early access, and there are two different stories for Cassio. I can evade this guy's attack, no problem. And I'm gonna kill these guys too. See, if I kill all the Admiralty now, they won't bother me in the next story, right? Lil is active for a chance to stun the target. Still don't know what a chance to stun the target means. Extreme focus. Every time you swap weapons after attack, gain a zero cost attack card. Interesting. That kind of um, defeats my whole kingpin thing though. That, that does seem really cool. That's like a really cool uh, archetype for sure. Blast an enemy for every two cards. Okay, so two damage for every two cards. It sounds interesting. Let me try it. Ooh. Okay, upgrade these. One wound, one impair. I like wound. I like the idea of just killing them fast. Uh, impair, I guess. That shuffle a weapon into your deck seems really bad. I don't think I'd like ever take that. Okay, are we going through the same loop again? I don't know how many times I want to do this until I just like give up. <laughs> I think this will be the last time. Okay, this is the end of the third fight through this loop. If it does the loop again, I'm just going to quit and do the other story. I don't know if that's intentional, if that's a bug, or it doesn't make much sense to me. Apply two impaired to target enemy. If you have taste of blood in your hand, if you have taste of blood in your hand, taste of blood. That's not like already in my deck, is it? No. That's really weird. Ooh, Kingpin 15, this card cost one. Do I spend 15 Kingpin though? That 75% of the enemy's missing health. Oh wow, that's interesting. That's like a finisher. Damage all enemies and deals bonus damage if they flail. I like this a lot, yeah. 
I don't know what the bonus damage is. I wish it would tell me. But it sounds good. AoE is good. Let's upgrade this. Improvised plus upgraded. I like the upgraded. Okay, so if it does this loop again... Yeah, it is doing the loop again. Okay. See, I'm not sure if it, like, is going to do this a set amount of times and then go on to the next day, but if it is... Then I don't, I don't want to do this <laughs> over and over again. So I'm just going to go on to the next story. I'm going to assume that's kind of like a little tutorial for her. Uh, escape the bog. The great escape. Error. Interesting. Control R to restart. Let's try this again. Grip lands. Escape the bog. Start. Error. Interesting. Okay. So, I take it that that prequel is just like the demo, like tutorial of this character. And it... I don't know if the second story is supposed to work, but it doesn't seem to for me. And let's try the battle brawl, because from reading the... From reading the workshop page, it seems like this is the, really the main thing available right now because the story isn't complete or anything like that. Mod is in very early access. Let's check this out. Ordinary day working with the Spark Barons. Welcome to the Battle Brawl demo. Highly work in progress project. Nothing in the current build is fuck. Mod is 95 cards. Purely from curiosity are not tested and balanced. They are pretty cool though, I will give them that. The ideas are very cool even if not balanced. High battle card count, this mod does not contain a single custom negotiation card. Because Cashio does not negotiate. It does have negotiation, but it's unnecessary to complete the brawl. Okay, okay. Ooh, it goes all the way here, huh? Okay, well. Uh, you probably don't want to see me do this entire brawl with Cashio. But you did see me do my first impressions of her. The whole archetype of switching weapons and kingpins, that's super cool. Uh, the mod definitely has a lot of potential. I'm really excited to see where this goes. Super early access right now, but if you want like a uh, new character to play, new mechanics to play with with the whole battle system, this is really cool. So much potential here. I'm really excited to see where these mods go. I'm going to play this brawl by myself. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching my first impressions of this, though. Uh, there's probably going to be more Grifflands videos to come. I really like Grifflands, and I'm really excited to try out and see the progress of a lot of these mods. There's a few others that I want to look at. I don't know if I'm going to make a video on every single one, uh, but this mod in particular looked like it had the most potential, and I'm really happy I tried it. So I'll see you next time.